our homecoming king and queen are William and Sunshine! I'm dating the most beautiful girl in school. Kiss me. They kissed, Sonny. What? You cheated on me! No, I would never! Goodbye. Are you going to believe her over me? <laughs> <laughs> I have to be honest and open with my subjects and with my queen. Lunch today is hot dogs, your choice of chips and fruit, and your choice of milk or juice. As always, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are available for those who forgot their lunch money. We'll just make you sweep out the back kitchen. <laughs> oh man, I cracked myself up. <clears throat> ah. Anyways, back to the announcements. The votes are in for homecoming king and queen. It was a tough race, but <laughs> who am I kidding? We all knew who was going to win this year. As a reminder, Homecoming King and Queen will be crowned at our first home football game of the season next week. And drum roll, please. Do we not have the drum roll sound? Oh, I specifically requested the drum roll. Oh, uh, anyway, without further ado, our Homecoming King and Queen are William and Sunshine! Go figure! Congratulations to our high school IT couple! If you see them in the hallways, give them lots of love. As always, have a great day at school, Brookhaven High! See you tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Homecoming Queen! Right back at you, Homecoming King! I don't know what can make this year any better than it already is. I'm captain of the varsity football team as a junior, I'm coaching the freshman football team, and I'm dating the most beautiful girl in school. You certainly do have it made in the shade. More like made in the sunshine. <laughs> you always have the worst puns, William. Your name is Sunshine. You're basically asking for puns. You're going to have to live your entire life with people making jokes about your name, Sonny. Congratulations, guys! Rain, my man! What do you think about your sister and I being homecoming king and queen? Very cool. Can I be you when I grow up? <laughs> Shush, don't poke fun. Nah, I really do think it's cool. Are we all your loyal subjects now? Yes, I expect you to bow down to me every chance you get. King Captain William, leader of the varsity team and ruler of the freshman football team, I dedicate my life to your cause. <laughs> You're both so dramatic! Get up, bro! Don't let it go to your head, William. I'm not running any extra laps for you at practice just because of your new royal status. Yes, you are! No, I'm not! Catch you later, guys! Can't miss pre-algebra! Speaking of class, I better get going too. AP Literature and Composition is my first period this year and Nicole's is a stickler for being on time. You should have taken a first period study hall with me. We could have gone out for breakfast every morning. I would have driven you in my convertible. I'd buy you pancakes and treat you like my little breakfast queen. As tempting as that is, have a good day, babe. See you later. Hanging in the gym during study hall. Wanna come? I don't see why not. Hey, Terry. Where is everyone? What do you mean? You said we're all hanging in the gym. I thought that meant more of the squad or some of the football team. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, we, as in you and me, we are hanging in the gym during study hall. Oh, okay then. 
congratulations on being homecoming king. I bet Sunshine is so excited. She is. We both are. It's very exciting. We kind of had a feeling we'd be homecoming king and queen together. But there was always a chance someone else could have been in our place. I went out for homecoming queen. Did you? Didn't you see my name on the ballot? Honestly, I didn't even look at the ballot. I just wrote my name and Sunny's name and turned it in. <sighs> well, it was there. I was almost queen. The student government president said I was just a few votes behind Sunshine. Funny. But it was just meant to be. You two lovebirds can be king and queen together. Brookhaven's perfect dream couple. Yup. <clears throat> the squad got back our yearbook photos. We have them taken professionally this year because the yearbook committee doesn't have nice enough cameras. Aren't those pictures due at, like, the end of the year? It's the first month of school. I like to be on top of things. Do you want to see them? Sure. Here it is. Can I see it? Come up here and sit by me, and I'll show you. There. Comfy cozy. <laughs> here you go. Aren't we adorable? Very nice. I had portraits taken of myself, too. Here they are. You don't need to show me the... Okay. Wow, you look great. <laughs> I know. I've been working out, and I had my hair and makeup done professionally for the shoot. Nice. Is Sunshine going to do any extracurriculars this year? I'm not sure. She's really into passing her classes and started her college application essays. And you aren't? I am. I just care a lot about football, too. So I try to balance them, you know? I can't imagine it's easy being together and having such different interests. It's fine. Is it? Yes, definitely. She supports me at every football game, and I support her when she wants to study. I don't think I need to defend my relationship to you, Terry. <laughs> but you are anyways. What are you doing? Nothing! I'm just pointing out the flaws in your relationship so you can see why it isn't working, and then consider going out with me instead. That's really bold. Oh, come on, William. You can't be that blind. What do you mean? I've liked you since freshman year. I've always known that you'd eventually be captain of the football team, and I'd eventually be captain of the varsity cheerleaders. The captain of the football team always dates the captain of the cheerleaders. It's a rule. For some reason, it doesn't matter how beautiful I am or how much I throw myself at you, you still don't see me or us for what we could be. I don't know what you want from me. Kiss me. No. Just try it. You might like it. I won't do that to Sunny. Hmm, it seems you're already here, alone with me, and Sunny doesn't know. She doesn't have to know this either. It'll be our little secret. I can't. I won't. What are you doing? Showing you what you're missing. Don't do that again, and don't tell Sunshine. <laughs> It'll be our little secret, but if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Are you ready to go home? William shall be here to drop us off at the house any minute. School was okay. Look, can I tell you something? You have to promise to not be mad at me. Okay? I followed William to the gym during study hall this morning. I wanted to ask him for tips about a few of the plays we've been learning after school. You followed him? Why don't you just catch up with him at practice or something? I knew you'd be mad. I'm not mad, just confused. Where are you going with this? Well, I noticed he was meeting up with someone, so I hid under the bleachers to wait for him to be done so that I could talk to him. He was meeting someone? Yeah, um, I'm sorry. I'm really nervous to tell you. He was meeting with Terry, the cheer captain. I'm 
sure they were just meeting up to talk about the game or something. It was more than that. They kissed, Sonny. What? I didn't hear what they said. They were too far away. But they kissed. Then William ran off. And I didn't know what to do. This can't be happening. I'm so sorry, Sonny. Do you want me to beat him up? No, don't beat him up. I'll handle it. Okay. I'm sorry, sis. Ready to go? Yep. I have homework to do. I'll catch you later. Bye. What's gotten into him? He usually wants to hang out and talk with us on the driveway for a while. What's the matter? You were silent the entire car ride, and now you aren't saying anything again. Are we okay? You and me? Whoa, what do you mean? I just want to know if we're okay. Is there anything wrong between us? Absolutely not, Sonny. You are my queen. Nothing is wrong between us. Okay. Wait! No goodbye or anything? Bye. Ah! Is that my beautiful daughter? The sunshine of my life, the bright star in the morning sky? Hi, Daddy. Hi, Sonny. Did you have a good day at school? Not really. Did something happen? <laughs> oh no, are those tears? We expect rainy days from your brother, but not from you. Who brought these clouds into your perfect day? <gasps> William. Oh no, William the boy wonder? What did he do? He kissed someone else, Daddy. I'm gonna unleash my lightning on him! <laughs> Enough with the weather puns, Daddy. Just trying to lighten the mood, hon. Why did he kiss someone else? We're supposed to be married one day. Uh, hold on a second, Sonny. Storm! Storm! We need you in here, hurry up! I can't do this on my own, I need your expertise, my darling. Is this about William? How did you guess? Rain just came into my office and told me. Oh dear, oh dear. Hi, Mom. Oh, sweet Sonny, poor baby. I can't believe he'd hurt you like this. Sorry, I told Mom. <laughs> it's okay, Rain. This is a family problem, so we'll find a family solution. I'm glad we all know. Now, we can figure out what to do together. Let's go over what we know so far. Okay. I know nothing, so, uh, fill me in. William and I were perfectly okay. We weren't fighting. We are happy. This makes no sense. William went to meet Terry on the bleachers, and they talked. But I couldn't hear them. And then Terry kissed him. Aha! What? Terry kissed him. <laughs> so? So, that's an important piece of information. It wasn't the other way around. He definitely didn't push her away immediately. <laughs> he wanted to kiss her! Have you asked him about it, Sonny? <laughs> no, not yet. I think that's what you should do next. I agree with your mother. Ask him to tell you what happened. Maybe it was nothing. Or maybe it was something, and then, well... I get to release the lightning of justice! Okay, I'll ask him. And Dad? Yes, my sunny day. No more weather puns. I make no promises! Hi, Sonny. Feeling a little better? No, I'm not. What's the matter? I don't know how to say this, so I'll just say it. Rain followed you into the gym today. Oh no. Yeah, he saw you and Terry. 
It's not what it looked like, Sunshine. Then what was it? She kissed me. I didn't kiss her. It was Terry, not me. But you still let her kiss you. I didn't know what to do. She tricked me into sitting by her. And then she started saying all this stuff. What was she saying? She said we don't have a lot in common. Because I like sports and you like to study. She said that she didn't understand how we worked well together. We just do. What did you tell her? I told her that. We just work out. We support each other and that's enough. And then she kissed you. Well, she told me she always liked me. And that she always tried to be with me. And that I was too blind to see it. You have been pretty blind to her for the past few years. You knew she likes me? The entire school knows, William. It's so obvious. Oh, just not obvious to me, I guess. It doesn't matter if you knew or not, because you know now and you let her kiss you after all of that. I pushed her off me. I stopped her. But the damage was already done. You cheated on me. No, I would never. But you did. I don't know if I can ever forgive you. Sunshine, please. Goodbye. <laughs> <sighs> this peanut butter and jelly looks delicious. Remember your lunch money next time. You could have just bought me lunch. You are my brother. It'll be fun to watch you sweep the back kitchen. Do you think I'll really have to do that? Look who it is. The Water Cycle family. I actually haven't heard that one before. Don't encourage her. Where's your boyfriend William? Did you let him off the leash? Be quiet, Terry. It was an honest question. I have an honest question for you. Why'd you kiss my boyfriend? You've got that all wrong. He kissed me, honey. No, he didn't. I was there. Hmm, <laughs> were you spying on us, Peeping Tom? Leave him out of this, Terry. I just think you should get your facts straight. William is interested in me. He wants me. He's tired of you and your boring meteorological family. How come everyone has something to say about our names? Stay away from my boyfriend! <gasps> How dare you! Leave us alone! I can't believe you just did that! It felt good. She deserved it. Hey, Coach. Hey, Rain. You're early. I wanted to talk to you. Is this about Sunshine? Yes. You know the rules, freshman. Personal issues stay off the football field. Then we better take this somewhere else, because we're talking about it. Fine. How could you do this to her? I was there when you kissed Terry. I wanted to talk to you about one of our plays, and I knew you had first period off, so I got the hall pass and saw you go into the gym. I couldn't hear you guys, but I saw you kissed her. She kissed me. That's not what Terry told us today. Are you going to believe her over me? I don't know what to believe. Neither does Sunny. Listen, she kissed me, and it's not going to happen again. It was a one-time mistake. I should have stopped it, but it all happened so quickly. Maybe you shouldn't have been alone with her in the first place. She tricked me, man. I didn't even know we were going to be alone. I can show you the text. She made it sound like we were meeting in a group, and then it was just us. Did you show Sunshine those texts? No, we haven't talked in a few days. She won't see me. Find a way to show her the text. Or apologize, at least. She's going to believe Terry over you, and you won't be able to get back together. I don't know how. It's up to you to figure it out. Go run five laps, freshman. That's over a mile. Do you want me to make it longer? Making me run laps because you're upset with yourself isn't going to make anything better with Sunny. Man, does everyone in your family turn everything into a therapy session?
Are you ready to be crowned homecoming queen, darling? I don't know. You look beautiful. You're our perfect sunny day. Thanks, Dad. What are you going to do when you see William? I'm just going to play the part. I can be homecoming queen, and it doesn't mean I have to be in love with the homecoming king. But you are, right? Yes. Then maybe you can talk to him. Try to make things right. But he cheated on me. How can I ever forgive him for that? People make mistakes, Sunny. It's part of life. What matters is if you let them grow and learn from their mistakes, or if you make them relive the past over and over again, never forgiving them and moving on. Well, what do you think you'll do? Maybe I'll talk to him. That's my girl. It's time to crown the homecoming king and queen. Everyone rise and applaud your new rulers. He's ridiculous. That's your cue. Better get going. Thanks, guys, for everything. For being the best family a girl could ever ask for. Whatever happens, we're here for you. Go get him. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, faculty, staff, loyal subjects, court gestures, those people that bake crows into pies in the back, and... Oh, I'm getting carried away. Everyone welcome to the crowning of the homecoming king and queen. As tradition, ladies first. We'll crown the beautiful sunshine our queen. For your kingdom? Thanks, everyone, for voting me to be your queen. I won't let you down. Spoken by a true queen. Although she doesn't have any ruling power over anyone at our school, but that's okay. She'll do us proud. Now, time for the crowning of the homecoming king, William! words for the kingdom, William? Actually, yes. Thank you for voting me to be your homecoming king. I will wear this honor proudly. As your new king, it's important that I rule my kingdom with sincerity and truth. Just clarifying that these two do not rule over anything in the school. It's a title <laughs> and nothing else. Sorry, continue. That being said, I have to be honest and open with my subjects. And with my queen. I made a mistake. I made a big mistake, and I broke the heart of the one person who means most to me in this world. My beautiful and bright sunshine. Sunshine, I am so sorry. I don't think I could ever say an apology that would be big enough, or have the right words to make you forget all of this happened and forgive me. But I have to try. I didn't mean to hurt you. I promise that I will stand by you and support you. I want to be with you, and with you only. This can be a small road bump in our relationship, if we let it. That's why... Oh. Is he proposing? Better not be. Is Sunshine going to get married? I have a promise ring here. I promise that one day, many years from now, we'll be married. I promise to stay with you and never hurt you again. I promise to take care of you and love you and your family. Even though we have to live with weather puns and therapy sessions, will you accept my apology and this promise ring? <gasps> yes!
This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Who would have guessed, ladies and gentlemen, Brookhaven's It Couple takes it to the next level! This is an historic evening and the perfect start to the new school year! What could possibly go wrong from here?